Good morning, all. It's a glorious Sunday morning, and like I said yesterday, not another bagel Sunday. We are oot in a boot, and it's only 8.30. Yeah, craziness. So we're headed to Commune for breakfast, one of our favorite local places. Here's what's happening with me. I did my one month weigh-in this morning. I tapered off a bit. I only lost a half a pound this past week, so I did not lose that three pounds and hit that, un, uh, I mean, that realistic goal that I set three years ago, and that's okay. What that's telling me, especially now that I'm starting to go insane about craving certain shit, is that it's time to break the keto. I've proven to myself that I can do it. I lost 10 and a half pounds in that month, which is spectacular since I've been trading that two pounds for the past two years, give or take and I feel a hell of a lot better, and I'm good to go with that. So I'm freaking eating whatever the hell I want today, and I'm not gonna go crazy, and I'm not just gonna be like, all right, I lost the 10 pounds, now I'll gain back 15. I, I intend to keep going with this, just not as strictly. I'm gonna be eating my favorite meal at Commune, which is Biscuits Eggs Benedict, and I am very much looking forward to it. And of course, I'm gonna have a gigantic plate of bacon too, and lots of coffee, and it's already, 79 degrees on this beautiful Sunday morning. So we're going to do this and then we're going to head to this area called Ghent and we're going to walk around and just enjoy the day. Not supposed to be 90 or 100 degrees so far. So that's a good thing. So let's go have a yummy breakfast. So she didn't realize she was in frame the whole time. She didn't know about the whole new setup and all that kind of stuff. And I kicking her in the ribs about all I got was a little bit of a laugh and a point. And she's like, I didn't know it wasn't in frame. So now she knows she's here starring my queen. All right, just wanted to say that. Well, this is something same, but different. We are at three ships but we're at Three Ships Norfolk location, which we've never been to. So I'm gonna do a pan and show you. Pretty swanky, huh? So when we left, or we're getting ready to leave Commune, unfortunately for me, the waiter dropped my big, greasy, eggy, saucy knife, and it landed directly on, on like my shirt. And I have a perfect, greasy knife outline. And it wasn't even my fault this time. So that was fun. Now I'm walking around with a big, greasy knife stain on my shirt all day. The other thing is that we decided to come to Ghent and realized that because it's a Sunday, nothing's gonna be open for at least an hour. So that's why we came here to, to Three Ships. And um, yeah, so we're just sort of soaking up the ambiance before we go out and hit Ghent. So just thought I'd show you. All right, kids, the wife has tapped out. She's deposited on the couch with a nice cool drink and that's where she'll be for the rest of the day. I, on the other hand, being a dumb monkey, despite the fact that it is now 1249 and 90 degrees, I grab my A7R4 and 200 to 600 birding setup, and I'm heading to Pleasure House Point. Not carrying a ton of gear, just that. And I'm going to take pictures of the birdies today, if there are any. If there aren't, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go out and have a good time. We just did have a good time all morning. I mean, since we were both up before seven, unusually, and well, she's usually up before seven because she can't sleep in. I have no problem laying there like a slug, but today I decided to get up because I knew we were gonna go out and do stuff, which we did, and it was fun, and that was that. So I'm gonna hit Pleasure House Point up for a bit. We'll see how much I can take, because I know yesterday kicked my ass with how hot it was, and I was carrying too much shit with me, which made it worse. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do at least a loop, and then I'm gonna do some grocery shopping to get some foods so that I can grill tonight and eat good foods. Now, I'm gonna talk about the fact that uh, my month long experiment of being super strict is over. Again, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna be like, okay, I can eat anything I want now because it's very much that attitude that took me to the point where I was, which is why I needed to prove to myself that I could be strict and I could get 
to the nitty gritty of shit and stop being a freaking fat, lazy pig and eating all kinds of garbage that I knew wasn't good for me and then pissing and moaning about it when I wasn't losing any weight. This time, I stuck to my guns. I committed to the whole going keto and I lost 10 and a half pounds. So this past week, I only lost a half a pound, I, you know, and, and my goal was to lose three. That didn't happen. Today marks me breaking ketosis. Maybe not for good, but I'm not gonna be super strict about it. So I'm going back to now having raw honey in my tea at night because stevia tastes like shit. I'm gonna have some fruits again, and I'm gonna have the occasional carb because I can't live my life eating pork rinds, which was pretty much the only crunchy thing that I could eat that didn't take me out of ketosis. And I ain't doing that stuff because those things are fucking nasty. Again, I'm going forward now knowing that I can commit if I have to be super strict, but I also realized that I can't be super strict like that because I just wanted to strangle people at some points. Like I freaking wanted some dessert, you know, I wanted something other than water to drink. And I know that it exists out there. I'm not gonna start doing the whole 80s model diet of, of diet Coke and cigarettes, because I don't need to, but I just need to be very mindful about what I eat and what I don't eat. Also, now today starts the second phase of this operation, which is exercise. And I don't mean grabbing my camera and walking around Pleasure House Point, because I would do that anyways. What I mean is sitting my ass in my little home-built gym there in the garage and lifting some weights or doing pull-ups or doing push-ups as much as I can. I mean, when I was in high school slash college, I used to have a rule and I, hang, I hung a pull-up bar in the door of my room. And anytime I walked past it, I had to do five pull-ups. Nothing major. I didn't have to sit there and do them until I dropped dead. I just had to do five and they had to be perfect controlled pull-ups. So now I need to start doing that again. I need to start, like, if I'm sitting in my office and, and I'm getting pissy or I've been sitting there too long, I need to drop down on the floor and, you know, bust out some freaking scissor kicks or I need to bust out some push-ups or I need to go into the next room and do some pull-ups, something, anything. I need to get the whole system turned on and used to now doing some form of exercise all the time. I'm not going to be like, I'm going to go to the gym Monday and Thursday for back and buys. I'm going to go on, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm not a gym rat, never was, never liked it, never going to be. But I do need to turn up the volume, so to speak. So that's what I'm going to do. And that starts this week, even when I'm on the road. So when I'm laying in the freaking hotel room, I either need to go to the hotel little exercise -y room and walk on the treadmill or something, or I just need to sit in the room and bust out a bunch of eight count bodybuilders or, or something, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm gonna be doing going forward because I realized that diet, and I've always known this, but diet can only get you so far. You have to freaking have a lifestyle alteration, meaning you have to have decent diet and you have to exercise. So I wanted to see what would happen if all I did was change my diet and I completely transform myself in a month. Hell, I can completely change myself in the first week for that matter, because I lost five pounds, then two pounds, then two pounds, or maybe three pounds, and then like another half a pound. So again, a total of 10 and a half for the month, and I'm happy with that, because I wasn't expecting such a massive result right off the bat. But now it's rewired the monkey, because now he knows that, that it's possible. Now when I turn it up with the exercise, that, should help me even more because again it wasn't about losing weight it was about feeling better and making shit work correctly and it did so now when i exercise all this is going to incorporate into a side effect of losing weight but again i don't want to lose weight i want to be in good condition i don't want to be a 53 year old slug that just keeps getting fatter every year and saying well that's what happens when you get old you know like that's bullshit that's not what happens when you get old it happens when you get lazy and you don't make good decisions that's all i need to say about that once in a while i will keep you posted if i if i hit a pretty good milestone and i'm happy with it but i'm this isn't going to be a health and fitness channel this is going to be an idiot monkey driving around and trying a bunch of stuff and spending too much money on shit, finding things that don't work and getting frustrated, but having fun and taking pictures and making videos. All right, so that's it. No more blathering. Let's go check out some birds. Woo!
Another scorcher today, kids, although not as much as yesterday. It currently is 89 degrees, so not quite the 96, 97 that it was yesterday. And remember I said, every degree over 80, you feel the difference in. The difference between 89 and 97 is massive. I digress. I'm hot as balls. I just sat here for like 20 minutes with the AC blowing directly on me on full blast just to cool down enough to be able to like drive somewhere else. I had a, I mean, a pretty good loop around Pleasure House Point. I did the entire loop, not the super long one that went all the way down by the, by the water because there just wasn't all that much out today. And I actually now connected my S22 Ultra up with the Sony imaging app and I've connected it to my A7R4 and that will be the phone that I use so that I can immediately go in and edit some photos and upload those to my Devious Monkey Instagram stream because sometimes I end up going home taking off hundreds of pictures and then not doing anything with them. I figure this way when I'm sitting in the car cooling down I can connect up to the camera go through take off some of the you know, the images that I like, I'm, I'm not even editing them, really. I'm just pulling them into the Instagram app and putting a filter on just to highlight some stuff and then uploading. So good to go there. All right, it's 2.30, despite being grossly hot. Now that I've cooled down a little bit, I'm actually pretty hungry because I haven't eaten since breakfast and we ate breakfast pretty early when we went out to commune. So now it's time to, <laughs> my favorite, Go to the grocery store because I'm going to get some stuff to throw on the, on the grill. She doesn't really care for the kibasa, so that's all mine. And I'm going to get hot dogs and there'll be more than enough for us to have for a couple of days. And probably what I'll do is stay fairly more strict during the week. And then on the weekends, I'll open it up and, you know, kind of eat what I want. Remember, 80-20. You're sticking to things 80% of the time. And then 20% of the time, you're hooting it up. And you're not beating yourself up for hooting it up because you don't want to create that stress in your body. We're going to go to the grocery store now and then we're going to go home and ooze onto the chair in the office and look at some pictures and edit some video. But for now, let's go get some food. All right, kids. That was a pretty fun day. Very strange that we got up early, like I said, but I'm all for it because we did a lot before it was even noon and I enjoyed going to Pleasure House Point as well. And I did get some pretty good bangers. It really makes a difference when you use the gear that you're very familiar with and you don't carry too much stuff with you because that just makes it very difficult to handle any of it well. And I did go to the grocery store and got some delicious foods and I am trying to hold off for just a tad before I go down and break the grill out because I'm still hot as balls and that isn't going to make it any better. So, uh, I mean, I did look through this footage. It all looks fantastic. I'm really digging the setup in the Forerunner now, and I'm glad that I calmed down enough to, to see it all come together. And I love all my cameras and lenses and stuff, and I'm going to be doing a video about all that as well. Well, several videos, so I can show you all the setups and show you how I use them. So that's it for now, though, because... I need to get my Sunday routine going. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up. i got to set the microphone down.